Play fake. Shermer looking. Got a wide open man. It's a touchdown for Jared Pinckney. They keep the Gators out of the end zone and their offense rewards them. 98 yards, several plays, and a touchdown for the Doors. The state champion in high school. On first down, Shermer setting up the screen to the Mamba. He's past the 30 yard line, and there he goes, crossing midfield. He stumbles. They track him down at the five. They push him out of bounds at the one yard line. No, it's a touchdown. It is a touchdown, 75 yards for Keyshawn Vaughn, the Red Mamba. What do you do? How about a screen? A little slow screen left to your halfback, Keyshawn Vaughn, who gets an open space, makes a couple guys miss, and turns on the burners. Defensive coordinator of the Oakland Raiders, and he ended up getting that opportunity. Franks fumbles the ball. It's kicked around. Odengbo can't get it. Johnson can, and now it's kicked to the sideline, finally scooped up by Vanderbilt. Dio Odangbo comes up with it. It was a heads up play by Dio Odangbo, his brother, <laughs> to grab it before it ventures out of bounds because it was almost a, a third down and 50 for Florida if that ball trickles into the white. We got to work on their ball skills, fellas. Man, that was crazy. Second and goal. Wakefield straight off into the end zone. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. By Odangbo, and then cashing in offensively with the touchdown run by Wakefield. Kyle Shermer loves it. The man coverage on the swing route. They go tempo, P. Ryan again, hit at the one, reaches the ball out, the ball comes out. It's still up in the air, and they finally rule the Florida running back down. Whoa. <laughs> e. Ryan, as he's going down, you see him extend that left arm. That's a touchdown, isn't it? It's close. Was he down before the ball broke the plane? It's difficult to tell. After review, video evidence shows that the runner did break the goal plane of the goal line. It is a touchdown. And this is a line drive right to him. Swain from the 25-yard line. He's already at the 35 and a flag down. Swain out of bounds near midfield. A second penalty marker is down, and there's an injured Vanderbilt player. There might be flags on both teams because a flag was thrown right at the feet of a Vanderbilt player who was getting leveled and whose helmet came off. Vanderbilt head coach Derek Mason not too happy with Florida. There are two fouls on the play. During the return, illegal block in the back on the return team number 27. Personal foul targeting on the return team. That play is under further review. Wow, so targeting. And now there's some pushing and shoving on the field. Both teams have come onto the field. Not sure who initiated that. You can see right here, it looks like this is the targeting play that they're going to be looking at. Forcible After contact review, to the head or neck area. The ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Okay. Number 41 of Florida has disqualified himself from the ball game. Oh, you have Todd Grantham there yelling back. You see Todd Grantham, the defensive coordinator, yelling at Derek Mason. Mullen and Mason are yelling at each other. Mullen saying get him to his sideline. Has to be held back by an official. That may have what been what prompted the, the Vanderbilt players to come onto the field. They were defending their head coach. Wow. Coach, what precipitated that incident on the Florida sideline? I'll talk about that in post game. That's got nothing to do with where we are right now. We got to go play a second half of football and let's go. What was the message to your football team after some real positive things, some better red zone production to come out here and close this thing out? At the end of the day, man, the, the best parts of what we do aren't up here. They aren't down here. We got to get back to the middle, keep our composure, and play football. Thank you. All right. Fourth down. Tommy Townsend on the punt. It's a fake. Townsend picks up the first down. What a call by Dan Mullen. Townsend gets the first down of the 45. They haven't blown it dead just yet. Now they finally do. An 18 yard run by the punter. And now pushing and shoving the punter getting into it with a Vanderbilt player. Look at all these outside releases by Florida, which essentially vacates the middle of the field. You have three blockers for three defenders. I mean, there's nothing but green grass for Townsend. Third and three. 
Franks throws to Jefferson, is free at the 20-yard line, and going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Gators! And the Gators are back in this one. Including this one for the Florida Gators. And third and three, a huge gap. Scarlett is gone, and the Gators have the lead. The running back position for the Florida Gators has been their backbone all season long. This time, it's Scarlett breaking away to give the Gators the lead. Four receivers at the bottom of your screen, and they're going to throw it over here. And Swain stumbled, but gets inside the five, dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Well, a very similar play to what they scored on a second ago. They have the run play to the right. Vanderbilt adjusted their alignment. That time they had too many defenders on the right side of the center. He takes the RPO bubble. 15 seconds to go. Shermer looking downfield. Long throw. It is intercepted by Gardner Johnson. One more snap for the Florida offense. And the Gators are going to get out of here victorious.